how to be extroverted as an introverted person so a lot of us feel like we're a bit timid a lot of us feel like we're a bit shy and when we're in social interactions we want to have more conversations but something is holding us back we see all of these amazing extroverted very confident people talk with everyone and you're like i want to be like that as well and i literally had the same i'm someone that's definitely an introvert but then i saw all of these amazing people being super social being so extroverted being so confident and i was like i want that as well and that's what i'm gonna teach you in this video even if you're someone that's an introvert person in this video i'll give you a step-by-step -step guidance on how to become more extroverted and if that's something you're looking for definitely stick with me till the end and with that said let's get started number one is to embrace your introversion it is your superpower and let me explain you why because the first thing i want you to get clear is that even if you're an introverted person it doesn't necessarily mean that you're more timid it doesn't necessarily mean that you're more shy it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be this individual that's very confident having conversations with other individuals because being introverted all it literally means is that you get energy by being alone whilst being extroverted it means that you get energy from other individuals and that's why you usually see that extroverted people tend to be more social and introverted people tend to be more shy because our natural trait is to be alone we actually get energy from being alone whilst with people that are very extroverted they have the opposite they get energy from other individuals and that's why they're seeking and craving all of this energy and that's why they've been able to get so confident having conversations with other individuals because they've been doing this their whole life whilst if you're someone that's been naturally more of an introverted person perhaps you haven't been able to have that many conversations you haven't been that person that's always talking to multiple people even if there's a big group because you're always the one that's holding himself or herself back and that's the reason you might feel like that you're lacking the confidence and you might feel like that you're a bit more shy when it comes to having conversations so that's the first key thing but now let's talk about your superpowers as an introverted person because a lot of us that have been in a situation where we tend to listen to other individuals we've developed certain strengths that extroverted people don't have and now if you're going to use all of these amazing introverted qualities you'll become a superhuman. Because if you're an introverted person, most likely you are an amazing listener. You tend to listen to other individuals rather than being the person that's speaking a lot. And because of this, you've been able to develop this amazing skill of having deep insight. Now you really and truly understand all the individuals and this is amazing. Because now you're so good at listening to other individuals, you really understand what they're saying. You can really focus on that deep interest and perhaps you also have a very good memory. So now you memorize everything that the other person has said. And these introverted skills will help you to work on your extroverted skills. Because the next step is to step out of your comfort zone, but gradually. Because yes, I completely understand you think that as an introverted person, you're not naturally made to have a lot of conversations, especially in big groups with other individuals. But this is further from the truth. The only reason you think this way is because you haven't done it. You have normalized not being someone that talks to a lot of people. You have normalized not being a very social individual. Whilst there's a lot of introverted people that are very social, it has nothing to do by being an introverted person. Yes, you have tendencies to stay by yourself because you get energy by being alone but this does not mean that you have to be shy this does not mean that you can't be confident speaking with other individuals because the only reason that you feel shy the only reason that you are not confident is due to lack of experience and that's why you need to get out of your comfort zone you need to gradually step up i'm not telling you to do anything crazy but gradually you need to step up your game and start to speak with other individuals even though if it will sometimes feel like that people are draining you you have to overcome that comfort step. You have to overcome that hurdle because it will get better. Even when you're feeling extremely nervous, it's all a phase. The more you do it, the more you overcome it. Because when it comes to every single skill in your life, you had to do it multiple times and the same goes with your social skills number three develop active listening skills so i've already mentioned that with most introverted people they tend to be good listeners but now 
I want you to develop an active listening skill. So generally listen to the other individual, but look at it from an extroverted perspective. Because when it comes to extroverted people, they constantly want to talk and they constantly want to grab your energy, right? So even though you're speaking something, they're constantly analyzing, hey, so this person has said this certain thing. So if I reply to this certain sentence, now I can take control of the situation and now I can speak. Now it's my spotlight. And this is the amazing skill that you have as an introverted person. I'm not telling you to force your way into conversations, but if you're someone that's an active listener, now you can pick up on these little nuances. Now you can remember stuff, even though if the conversation is ended, you can always pick it up again because you've remembered very key details that you can mention again. So for example, if there's a Sarah and she told you something about her dog, so after a while you've spoken a little bit, you walk away and then five minutes later you see her again. Then you, you can say something like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, so what actually happened with your dog? And now you've piqued interest in the individual because they've now discovered that you were actually actively listening and you've got an amazing topic to talk about because that's something that this imaginary Sarah that I've just made up is very interested in and that's due to your listening skills. Because of your listening skills, you can increase your social skills. Number four, find your passion and share it. So now we're constantly talking about pleasing other individuals, listening to other individuals, but what about you? You're the individual that wants to become more extroverted. And even though all of the previous steps work, it can be quite boring, it can be quite draining because you're constantly focusing on other individuals. What about you? And that's what this part is about. Find out what your passions are and this needs to be shared. Because if you're someone that's gonna talk about your passions, it will just feel much more natural for you to be extrovert. It will feel so much easier to talk about your passions, to ward it. It doesn't matter who you're talking to, whether you're talking to a close friend that you're already comfortable with or with a complete stranger, the reason that this makes it easier is because you're passionate about it. You know so much about it. You're confident in your ability to have a conversation about this. And this is very key, especially if you're someone that feels like you get so drained, especially if you're someone that feels like you're constantly pleasing people. Now it's time for you to put yourself at number one. You are the priority. And now if you're going to talk about something, it better be your passions. Number five positive body language. So have you noticed that when it comes to all of these extroverted people, it feels like they've got so much energy. Every time they enter a room, it feels like they lit up the room. There's more energy. It feels like they attract all of the energy. It's like they're a magnet. It all comes down to the way they speak and their positive body language. Because if you're someone that's very timid, if you're someone that doesn't have that much experience when it comes to socializing, it will be completely different than if you are someone that's constantly speaking, if you are someone that feels like socializing it comes naturally to us. Because even for myself, for example, when I was younger, it was very hard for me to socialize with people, but now it does come very natural because I've been through the pain. I've been through the trauma of improving myself, and now it's kind of a part of me, even though I'm still an introverted individual. Because over time, you'll develop this on and off button. Because if I turn the button on, now I have this extroverted act now I can be very open, use my hands, body language, stand tall, hold eye contact and smile when I'm speaking to you. And that's an art. And if you're someone that wants to act like an extrovert, this is essential. Number six, gradually expand your social circle. So the thing you notice about extroverted people is that they know so many people. It feels like that they have so many acquaintances. And no, I'm not telling you to have a lot of friends because you can have a compact and close friend group just like I have and that's completely fine. But it doesn't bother to know more people. It doesn't bother to socialize and network with more people because this gives you a reason to experiment. This gives you a reason to increase your experience when it comes to socializing. And that's why it's extremely important to start to expand your social circle. Not only does it help it when it comes to improving your social skills, but hey, you never know when you need someone, some people can be useful. And for that instance, expanding your social circle is key. Because another thing is that you really become the person you hang out with. And if every one of your friends is quite timid and doesn't really socialize a lot, I don't think it's healthy for you as an individual as well, especially if you're someone that's trying to improve yourself. Because I constantly see this all the time. You got these bubbles, these friend groups, and then if you just look at a certain friend group, you already kind of know what kind of people they are. 
because you tend to hang out with the people you are or how you want to be and that's why it's key to constantly expand your friend group constantly look for other individuals because perhaps at the moment the people that you hang out with are not exactly the people you want to be like perhaps the people you hang out are not that confident aren't as ambitious as you whilst you're someone that wants to get more out of life in that instance it is important to find other friends find people that are on the same mission because this can only help you out in the long term. Number seven, practice, practice, practice. Did I already tell you? You need to practice. Nothing in life comes easy. There's no secret tip, secret tech that will instantly make you very confident, will instantly make you extroverted. You still need to put in the work, but obviously there's nuances, there's methods to gradually help you become more extroverted, help you become more confident. And these measurements and steps are very important, but at the end of the day, if you don't practice, nothing will change. That's why I wrote the free Glow Up Secrets book because I genuinely want to help you get a glow up. And this book doesn't only help you to look better because obviously, let's be honest, if you're someone that looks better, you'll feel more confident. And if you know that you look good, you feel confident, it's so much easier to talk to other individuals and people will be responding more positively to you because you simply look better. And that's why I wrote this free Glow Up Secrets book. It will help you to look good, get a glow up, but then it will also help you to overcome your fears. It will also help you to become more confident. It will also help you to turn heads everywhere you go and the list goes on and on. This is a book to gently help you reach the next level. And if you are someone that's very serious about changing your life, I would definitely check it out. It's completely free. So it's not like you have to pay anything. Just read it, implement the tips in your life and trust me, your life will change. And on top of that, if you are someone looking to improve your appearance, if you are someone that knows that these days social media is extremely important, and if you want to be more respected even by people that have only seen you but never spoken to you, having an amazing Instagram profile really helps. And thus, if you are someone that wants to look good, have an amazing Instagram profile, and at the same time, become this fashion icon, whether it's in your school, whether it's at your workplace, it does not matter. Definitely check out the face rating page. I will have a link down below. And this way, I can give you personalized guidance to take you to the next level. Because I genuinely want to help you out and all of the resources are available. But it all depends on you whether you're going to take action. And that's pretty much the end of this video. So being an introvert person doesn't necessarily mean that you can't act extroverted. Obviously, at the end of the day, as an introverted person, even if you're going to act very extroverted, eventually you will need to have some time alone because that's when you recharge. But at the end of the day, if you're someone that's willing to learn, improve your social skills, get out of your comfort zone, you will be able to become more extroverted. Because this idea of extroverted people is that they're very social and they're very charismatic and out there. And these are things that you can learn. So start by downloading the free Glow Up Secrets book today and get yourself the glow up that you deserve. So please leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and consider to the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time and I'll see you on the other side. Bye bye.